Now, Bob Arum, Hall of Fame promoter, the legendary man himself, just jumped out the window of the airplane at 30,000 feet to land on his head with some fake news that the people can't use. Bob is not privy of any numbers. So to describe our fight as a disappointment is disheartening from old Bob. Listen, it was a sold out arena to a great group of hardcore and casual fans. Don't let Bob and his narratives be one more roadblock in front of the best fight in boxing. There's no place else for Tank to hide or run. No more narratives can be created. The time's up. It's now. Bill Haney claps back at Bob Arum, who said that the fight numbers for Haney and Prograde were disappointing and poor, right? What up, fight world? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Now, I got to keep it a buck with you. Frankly, I'm getting, this is just getting old. It's getting like played out and I got other content to make. So hopefully there's not too many more videos that we have to do and kind of go back and forth. But I do got to talk about the latest and greatest. So here we are. Bill Haney, the beginning of the video, I let you listen to it. He's responding directly to the comments from Bob Arum. I made a separate video about that. I've been giving you guys my thoughts, my opinion on the whole situation with the numbers. And what I noticed from that clapback and the response from Bill Haney, he still didn't reveal what the true numbers were for Haney Progray, right? He keeps saying that the event in the arena was packed and was lit. I can attest to that. I was there. There was no problem with the atmosphere, but that's not indicative of pay-per-view sales. I've been in the business long enough. And because the city comes out or because a region or whatever local come, like let's say Gervonta Davis, I went to his fight in Baltimore, right? When he fought Ricardo Nunez is mandatory. That was in Baltimore. Baltimore is gonna come out for Gervonta Davis. But if they would have put that fight on pay-per-view, it would have likely not done good numbers because of you know, different factors than maybe Devin Haney and Prograde. So it's not really hard to believe that LRB and Bob Arum and these people are saying they have these sources and the intel, you put a fight right before the holidays that it possibly did not deliver strong numbers on pay-per-view. So I don't even understand why this is going on so long. Either the numbers were good or they were bad, but you could rectify the whole situation by just releasing the numbers. And Tank Davis's coach, Coach Calvin Ford, was on the Rise podcast, and they dared Bill Haney to do that, or they challenged him, or whatever you want to call, and they said, just release the numbers. Don't ask for Leonard Ellerby to do it. You do it. You have, you're you saying it's wrong, and you, know, you got the data points and the impression, the insight, put out the real number. It's simple, but we keep going back on. So it's like, to me, this is just, this is just, at this point a spectacle and at this point this is just promotion you know to promote his son and keep the the gravy train rolling my dad was in the military so at the end of the day i was raised as a military brat at the end of the day the military there's strong lines of communication chain of command and just like an order of operations in in how you get down right they even have a bunch of acronyms in the military of you know, just various things to help you remember. So that being said, I'm a very linear person. I'm a very up and down straight person, whether people like it on the channel for expressing my opinion or not, it don't matter. That's who I am. It's not going to change. I'm not going to just walk blindly and drink the Kool-Aid if I don't feel that in my heart. I can't do that. Something about my soul enables me to, you know, be my own man. So Again, I think the easiest resolve here is if the numbers are capped, if you really like the numbers, then why is nobody putting it out? You know, it just doesn't make any sense to beat around the bush and, you know, say tank can't hide. We offered him 20 million. That stuff is all separate. Like that to me, it's like kind of a smear campaign at this point. What are the actual numbers? 
No games, just put out the, the data and easily refute it if you can. You know what I'm saying? And we wouldn't be doing speculation. But Bob Arum, he's saying it. Leonard Ellerby, he's saying it. And the reality is with DAZN being a private company and the perception is that the numbers flopped or didn't do that great or did under 75,000 or whatever whatever the, the numbers that are being reported, that's what you're going to be held to because there's nothing to counteract. There's no, it's like a snake bite. You don't have the antidote. What do you think is going to happen? You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, this could easily be resolved by putting out the numbers and just conventional wisdom. If DAZN was truly happy about the numbers, everybody, everybody promotes their highlights. Like if I have a highlight in the channel and a video does a million, or if I'm doing a live stream and I've gotten, you know, $500 super chats, like that's going to be a highlight for the live stream. So you're going to make sure like shout out to John Doe for the $500 super chat yes you know what i'm saying you're good everyone's gonna highlight their w's it's just common sense and boxing is no different so if DAZN really felt the numbers beat lomachenko and they felt they were the strongest of numbers why not make a graphic why not tell everybody devin haney has arrived as the pay-per-view king and you know things like that and put that out so you're you're not gonna just convince me otherwise i believe what i believe you guys can say whatever, watch the channel, don't watch the channel. It don't matter to me, bro. And the funny thing is this, when we're talking about these numbers, like, first of all, people were just, including myself, just happy to, to celebrate Devin Haney and say, man, you beat up Regis Progre, sharp performance, you look good, you moved up, your body adapted to the new division well, the, the building was a bunch of people, 16, 17,000 people, and they're saying the live gate look good. That's good. Like why we could have just like that could have been the conversation, but the conversation switched because numbers came out or numbers were discussed and then the numbers were refuted, but they weren't really refuted with the true numbers and stuff like that. Now we're here. So this is why I got to talk about this. But it's so funny to me because when it comes to boxing, you have fans, the shapeshifters, the usual suspects and old media. What they do is they'll start driving in one direction immediately abruptly switch gears er, flip a bit and do a u-turn and go in a completely different direction the whole conversation and i've made a detailed video so i'm not gonna spend too much time like breaking it down check my unpack from today talking about the a side javante devin haney but the cliff notes is this Javante is the A-side. I've always said that Devin's doing his thing, but Javante is the A-side for obvious reasons, right? Fans keep recycling the same comment. You know, at least the few naysayers that have something to say. They're saying, oh, but why do numbers matter? Like, people argued for the numbers and said Devin did great numbers and the 50,000 is a lie and it really was a strong pay-per-view and it did better than Haney Loma. So that's why we're discussing the numbers. We didn't just come up and, you know, everyone's talking about numbers out of nowhere. The reason that the numbers came up is because it was reported that he was doing 200, 350,000 or whatever. And then that was refuted by LRB and now Bob Arum, Hall of Fame pro promoter as well. That's why we're here. So again, the conversation shifted. And then when we're talking about the A side, it does matter. People are like, oh, who cares? Now they're saying who cares? After arguing for the numbers, now they're saying who cares? Why do you even care about numbers? Do you want to see the fight or not? No, 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 no. It does not work like that. You argue for the numbers. You said the numbers were strong. That's why the numbers came up. Because it does matter when we're talking about the A side because it positions each fighter based on their value, based on their stats and numbers. So yeah, it does matter. So Ryan Garcia, if he's fighting Javante Davis, they could look at his stats, impressions, and you know what he brings to the table, what he brings to the game. And then they look at Ricardo Nunez and be like, it's not the same value. So Ryan Garcia gets a bigger split, you know, and he gets a fairer deal or whatever the case may be, because Ryan Garcia is a great dance partner that can help balloon this fight up 
that's why it matters right so yeah your impressions and stuff matter when it comes to negotiating because different people are going to want different terms and negotiate for certain things so you will be held to your numbers it's like no different than a rap artist a rap artist nipsey hustle gave you the game nipsey hustle said that he learned a gym from 50 cent 50 cent said do mixtapes because they can't use the mixtape numbers against you and then you can develop a cult and street following and then you put out your album so there is a science to this i could assure you 50 cent cent g unit <laughs> So what 50 Cent was gaming Nipsey, rest in peace, what he was gaining, gaming Nip about was if you just put out an album and it flops and it doesn't sell, especially at that time before streaming, and it doesn't sell that many units, then when you go to broker your deal with the label, they're going to use that against you. That's how business works. The label will definitely look at your record sales from the past and be like, hey, your first week, you only sold 50,000. You only sold 15,000 units. Why would we give you this big of a signing bonus, right? So they would tally your number. But if you have mixtapes, then it's it's a way to kind of circumvent that and build up a following without actual record statistical data. So yeah, in boxing is no different. That's just a quick analogy for anybody who's seen that interview or a fan of hip hop. And people keep asking these dumb questions like, oh, Ego, do you want to see the fight or not? I've stated that from jump. Of course, I want to see the fight, Javante Davis versus Devin Haney. But at the same time, I'm smart enough to know that there will be no fight if both sides don't play their position. So that's why I'm saying what I'm saying and making the video. I'm not the one negotiating. So this literally, people try to make it about me. It don't have nothing to do with me. I'm just giving you the news. Whether you think it's the bad news or not, it's the factual news. Right. And the the thing that's funny is how come if people say, oh, ego, you're not keeping it real or you're not being objective. How am I not being objective? Bob Arum, he confirms or from his perspective, will say he confirms that the fight was disappointing and it performed poorly. And you have a bunch of people who are slow to react. They're not posting that. People aren't making videos about that. Right. But then if Devin Haney posts something on Twitter or Instagram and he calls Gervonta Davis a sucker, those videos go up quick. So how can I not be the realest? How can I not be the best in the business? I give you every single side to the equation. I'm like geometry. I'm giving you all the sides, all the angles and letting you guys listen to what everybody has to say. Bob Arum says the numbers perform poorly. I made a video about it. This video right here, Bill Haney is refuting it. I let you listen to that. And I'm giving you my opinion to summarize what's going on here. So that's the reality of it. Not everyone is doing that. Not everyone. People are saying, like I said, people will say they, they are fair until it's time to be fair. So when Bob Arum is confirming with Leonard Ellaby, everybody got mad at Leonard Ellaby for saying that. And then he's saying, saying it too. But everyone's not going at Bob Arum. You know, you have people calling Leonard Ellaby out his name and bald head and fat head. And people aren't using that same energy for Bob Arum, who virtually said the same thing, that Haney Prograce didn't do good on pay-per-view. And like I said, in closing, the numbers still are not out. So what do you expect people to believe?